Hello everyone, it's Lynx, and this is going to be a double feature. So, um, if you've known me, you know I've played Warframe, and I've played Destiny, and I've been playing Destiny 2, but at this, okay, at this point in time, I'm kind of, um, I'm alternating between the two of them. I'm just kind of going back and forth, um, doing both. So, you know, that's uh, interesting, right? I guess. Um, so we're going to do something here. I, I don't know where he is. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a Xur and uh, Baraka 2 video. Just because I want to do both in one video. Um, if I can even find where the hell Xur is. I don't know at the moment. Where is he? He's on the tower, is he? Oh, he's in the tower. Okay, he can spawn in the tower. Cool. That'll make things a lot easier for what I'm gonna do. But, uh, yeah. I, uh, I play both games kind of on and off. Um, whenever I'm done doing my daily stuff or weekly stuff for Destiny, I go into Warframe. Whenever I'm done uh, with Warframe, I go back to Destiny, try and do that for a little longer. I get bored eventually. Um, I go back to Destiny, and then I just either turn off the PlayStation or I go play Just Cause 3. Um, or I'm building a model kit, and in which case uh, I'm doing none of the things. I'm probably just making a. Uh, I'm letting some YouTube run in the background and uh, doing doing that. But for now, uh, I guess you know it's been a month. I don't know why I've what let the channel sit for this long. Um, I don't know. I've got a lot of things going on at the moment in my head of what I want to do with this channel. Um, I have a couple ideas that I don't know if I want to ex execute um, solely for the fact that it would be odd and a different thing. Maybe I could just keep that to my second or third channel, and I've I do have a third channel. I'm not, no, I'm not letting you guys know what it is. Um, but for the people here for Destiny content, this is Destiny. This is going to be the Zer video. And for the people here for the Warframe content, this is also going to be the Barracuda video. So, Unfortunately, this is already two and a half minutes long, which is longer than Zero videos usually are, um, just because of the loading time and the way I like to structure my videos. But we're finally flying in now. This is the first time Zero's actually appeared in the tower, which is interesting. So we're gonna go over here. I think it's. I think he's this way. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh. Say so the first time Zero's appeared in the tower. I don't know what he has. I heard. I know he has the new. Um, the new three of coins thing, as well as the uh, Engram that guarantees something you don't have already, which is what I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy one of because I want to. I don't because I have, I don't have a couple things, and uh, yeah, I'm I, I want certain items. So we're gonna go up here, and there he is, the one and only. Here we go. So, oh, I don't have enough. Oh, they cost ninety seven. Oh, that sucks. So, firstly, he has Darcy. Darcy is a sniper rifle. Basically, what this does is that when you um, when you zoom in, uh, you get some better target acquisition and more precision damage. From what I've seen, the only time you get the more precision damage is when it is the enemy you're looking at is highlighted. And I don't know the actual amount of... Um, the actual amount of extra damage you get. I don't think it's too high. Um, but I don't prefer snipers, especially now that they've, they've moved to heavy slot. So if you want this, uh, cool, get it. It's actually not a terrible thing, but it's pretty high in the fire rate department, which means impact is lower than other snipers. So that's something to take into consideration. Celestial Nighthawk does exactly what it does in, in Destiny 1. It takes all of your golden gun shots, puts it into one shot, and it does a hell of a lot of damage. That's pretty much all you need to know. Also, subclass abilities charge faster when using your solo subclass. I would imagine you're using the solo subclass if you're using, if you're using Celestial Nighthawk. Howl of Fire Heart. Yeah, this uh, this is kind of boring. It just it just um, greatly improves the recharge rate of your soul abilities whilst Hammer of Soul is charged. I, I, I haven't seen many people using Hammer of Soul too much, so I don't really know how this how well this will go. But if you use Hammer of Soul, this is for you. I have another world. Uh, 
highlights priority tar targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade melee and rift abilities. I don't play Warlock ever, um, so if you want this, go ahead and get it. I have no idea what any of this means. And then the consumables, the three of coins. So what this does is that it is a now a boon. So then you activate it, it lasts for four hours and it greatly, inc not greatly, it just increases the chance to receive exotic engrams from sources in the world. We don't know how actually uh, consistent or powerful these are yet. They just came out. Um, so we're going to have to see later on. Uh, maybe it'll be a little bit bugged and something will be wrong with it, but... I'm not going to buy any now, um, what I'm going to do is I am going to dismantle something because I want to go ahead and demonstrate, uh, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the uh, this new thing for you guys. So my hope, my, oh, oh cool, so it automatically decrypts. So, I got sweet business. Awesome. We're going to go and equip that because I have not, I don't have that at the moment. Uh, okay, I don't like sniper rifles. I want a grenade launcher. Sweet business. So, yeah, it automatically decrypts. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, cool. It costs kind of a lot of legendary shards, and I'm just now realizing that might not have been the smartest idea to do. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's Zer for today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch over to Warframe, and then I'm going to skip the loading process and everything, and I'm just going to go right into... Um, uh, I'll, I'll cut back when I'm back when I'm already at Barracateer. So we're going to cut now. All right, and now we're back into Warframe. So uh, I did not I did not see what Barracateer has today either. Uh, I, as I was watching the video, eating my bagel this morning of what Barracateer has, I... Uh, didn't quite, I didn't quite get to see all the video, and uh, well, now he's here, and now I'm here, so now I'm going to look at what he has, so I don't know what he has yet, we're going to go ahead and take a look, right here, alright, so, we're looking at a couple cool things, so of course we got the Sands of Anaros blueprint, uh, this is going to be the quest you need for Anaros, um, that costs 100 ducats, 25,000 credits, as it does always, the Katir Swells to sign Dana. This is not a terrible sign, Dana. I wish you could pre preview it, but you can't. The entire Edo, Prisma Edo stuff. The Katir Presence thing. This is not a this is not an idle animation. This is a emote you have to you can do. You get the Anaros tomb scene, this thing's pretty cool. Um you get the Quanta Euphis skin as well as the Quanta Vandal. Quanta Vandal is very fun to use. I quite enjoy using it. It's really fun. Um, and the uh, Euphis skin is actually really cool, uh, really cool to use with it as well. We got Prime Shotgun Ammo Mutation, which every, all the ammo around you can be converted into shotgun ammo. Prime, uh, Prime Rifle Ammo Mutation, which is, um, yeah, it turns all ammo around you to rifle ammo. Prime Tucker Cracker, which is plus 110% critical, critical damage. Prime Slip Magazine, which is plus 55 Plus 55% uh, magazine capacity for pistols. The Ampu Sagatra, uh, which I'm probably going to buy because uh, I like uh, I need more Sagatras. Uh, is this going to actually let me preview it on a weapon? If not, uh, that would be... Uh, it, no, now, yeah, great, now it's doing this thing. Okay, and a quick game restart later. For some reason, uh, it did not want me to look at that Sagatra. Um, so we're back in the relay after a reload of the game. So, <clears throat> back to it. Uh, we also got the Ampu Staff skin. Uh, this thing's not. This thing doesn't look too bad from the little picture I'm seeing. I might buy it, but I don't use any staffs. So yeah. Um, anyway, that is all of the stuff from Barakatir and Zer this week. Um, I just kind of thought, you know, I'm bored. Um, both of the vendors are here this week, and we're just going to take a look. So, uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this video, you guys. Uh, I'm probably going to be uploading some stuff soon. I don't know at the moment. Things are a little uncertain with my planning. However, uh, 
maybe I'll go ahead and upload something. I have some ideas, but we'll see. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.